Good afternoon, guys, and today we are here at Universal Orlando Studios, and today we're going to be giving you guys updates about Mardi Gras 2024 for this year. Which is right around the corner. Literally right around the corner. And for Mardi Gras, we know that it's going to start February 3rd and end April 7th, so it's a good two months, a good two months. It's um to like run the course and get everything done. I'm going to tell you guys everything that you guys need to know about Mardi Gras 2024, okay? I'm gonna try to do everything. I'm gonna try. But without further ado, enough talk. Let's just get this video started. First thing that you need to know that there is gonna be a huge medallion here, right in the middle, right over here. It's gonna be saying Mardi Gras 2024, February 3rd through April 7th. It's gonna be a big giant medallion right over here. The concert is right over there, but I'm not gonna tell you guys that like, yet about the lineup. I'm gonna tell you guys that at the end of the video, but we're gonna be starting to write. Look at this, about this crush structure one. It all went away. They were fixing the floors. And they were probably doing some work the down here. Yeah, something with the pipes down here. But they were fixing floors too. Guys, there's a giant like rigs over there that we haven't seen before for Mardi Gras. But I, <laughs> I'm we're guessing this is Mardi Gras for Mardi Gras. Is it because of that Christian fest, the Christian concert? Oh, yeah. Is that is that what it is over there? Festival is supposed to come soon. No, but it, it wouldn't make any sense because it would be at the concert right over there, Unless not here. Unless they do like, like I don't know, we don't know about this because the last time we were here, this was not here at all, and they were doing the Christian, uh, the Christian music festival, right at the, at the, at the original spot where the concert is usually at. My husband's over there, guys, <laughs> but I don't. Have my yeah, I lost my. Gonna walk by. <laughs> You're not gonna. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, man. How are you, man? Good. Do you remember me? Of course I do. Remember you too. Something bad happened. Yeah, I'm trying to bring it. Oh. Yeah, something bad happened. What happened? The ring. Uh, I don't know where it is. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it wasn't. It's because you see, you want to know what I did? Yeah. I put it on my lanyard, so I would oh, never forget it. Sure. Because you know I always carry my lanyard. Yeah. 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 I lost Very my, sentimental. I lost my whole lanyard. Uh, uh, what are we gonna do? <laughs> I know, I don't know. I know, I got, uh, it's okay, it's yes. okay. Uh, oh, wait, wait. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't want that. I'm gonna find it and I'll, sh I'll bring it back to you. I'll show you. Well, I won't give it back to you, but I'll show you that I found it. You see? I'll help you. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> you should be trusted. I don't know. He's so bad. <laughs> I'll be right here. Okay. I'll be right here. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> last time that we were here this whole this whole area was blocked off like literally so they were doing the streets i'm guessing they were doing the streets look this looks brand new some paint i mean i'm pretty sure some of the paint went away because of the rain like it looks faded but yeah looks like they were doing some paint work or some street work here and also they put up some new lights because of the mardi gras parade is gonna be coming through here and coming out through here but guys if you guys don't know about this the flows do come out of here and then they also come in through there so they come out and they go back in through the same way so I get, I'm guessing the best seats in the house are over here if you guys want to do some like throw like get double like triple the bees that you want but they do go through over here through Holloway Boulevard and they make all they go all the way around to uh, Rip Ride Rocket and then all the way through New York and San Francisco they come and then after that, they make a right turn to Transformers, and then another left turn, end of the, uh, end of the Transformers, and they go back in through right over here. Food booths will be right over there. They'll be all over the park, literally right all over the park. You're gonna have plenty of time to eat, but to drink everywhere you go, where you step, you're gonna see food booths all over the park, everywhere. There is gonna be some food booths right over there, but when, as soon as I get over there, I will be like showing you guys what's gonna be over there. Um, Cause I think I see like a, a booth over there somewhere. Like if you guys get closer look, right over there. Now guys, this is the best area where you could be to watch the parade also. There's gonna be plenty of room, plenty of space here for the parade to go through. There's gonna be confetti all over this place. Literally confetti, like on the floors, on the on the buildings. Like it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be literally crazy here. Like you can see a lot of people dancing, drinking. It's gonna be awesome. Like I said, it's gonna be one of the biggest parties here in Universal Studios. There's gonna be a bunch of food booths here, like over here. 
And then also over there, like last time, there was, I remember last year there was Puerto Rico right over there. And I got the mofungo. Hey, note to self, guys, don't come late. Oh, they, yeah. They do run out of food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you can know about these two booths right here, these are going to be your number one dessert booths because these two booths right here, right, right behind me, as you can see, they're going to have beignets, the best, the, like the most delicious beignets that you could ever get. They're warm, they're fluffy, they're going to give out like chocolate or like caramel drizzle, like little and little side cups, like it's delicious, I'm telling you, it's going to be delicious. All right, guys, so the food booths this year for 2024 for Mardi Gras, I'm going to name them right now, and there is only three new food booths here. Um, this is going to be Belgium, Bloody Mary Bar, Brazil, Canada, and the new one is China. The new one, another new one is Coca-Cola Market Square, and then we had, uh, the non-new ones are Colombia, France, French Quarter, uh, Bar, Germany, Italy, Mexico, New Orleans, New Orleans desserts, which is probably gonna be these, cause yeah, you know, beignets. And then the new one that's coming out is Philippines, and then we have Puerto Rico, Spain, and then Thailand. That's gonna be all the Mardi Gras food booths for 2024 this year. Today, Universal Orlando announced their concert lineup for Mardi Gras 2024, which is gonna be happening right behind me. So I'm gonna give you guys the lineup right now, but before I do, go subscribe so on february 3rd we got oh before I, before i forget if i mispronounce anything you guys know it's because i don't know how to talk okay i don't want to hear it anyways february 3rd we got walker highs february 10 we have the all american rejects february 17 we have l king february 18 we have casey and the sunshine band february 24 we have baron naked ladies um, March 2nd, we have DJ Khaled. Hands up. Okay. Um, February 9th, we have Ava Max. No, March 9th, we have Ava Max. March 10th, we have Queen Latifah. March 16th, we have Luis Fonsi. And then March 17th, we have Zed. I feel like towards the end, we're going to be here <laughs> because I, I like a lot of people. <laughs> I was going to say one of the best places to see it though is right here, right in front of the Universal Studios store because the parade comes straight at you. Oh and yeah. It, it's like so close because it's such a tight time. So it gets like so close to you. It's yeah. One of my favorite places so like, to watch it. I get what you mean now because like if you sit here, if you're like a photographer or a videographer, the best place is right here so you can see straight towards, like she said, straight towards the float. Yeah, the only thing about the with like taking pictures in that sitting right here is that there's someone here trying to guide the floats. Yeah. So the that person's gonna constantly be in your video. Yeah. Because they have to guide it with the sensor. Yeah, and also if you are videographing, if you're making like videos or like photos, make sure you be careful because people will throw beats at you no matter what. Yeah. Like they like they're not gonna be like oh yeah yeah no he's he's gonna he's not gonna chuck it at you but he will throw it randomly and someone will catch it right in front of you literally like put your hand in your face and like try to catch the bead yeah, like so you guys have to be really really careful with that he, yeah. someone will throw beads at your face and then there someone else probably behind you it's funny, next to you, you or will try to catch it when you are paying attention and you want beads no one's gonna throw beads at you yeah that's what always yeah. happens to me. I would suggest if you want to get a tons of beads, don't sit next to kids. Oh because my people god! People have people like to throw beads at kids, and I get it, I get it. But like you tend to not get that many beads because they're focused on throwing beads at kids. So then the kid next to you has like a hundred beads, and you got like two. Oh yeah, for sure. All right, guys. So right over here at the Studio Styles at Hollywood Boulevard, uh, we all know that this is going to be this is our new tribute store now. I'm guessing they are going to do it this year before Mardi Gras. Um, they're, they're gonna make this into a tribute store again for Mardi Gras 2024 for this year. This is gonna be the end of the video. Hopefully you guys get our little information and little updates about Universal for Mardi Gras. All right guys, so for the first thing, I did forget to mention two things before walking out of the uh, theme park. Uh, Universal Orlando Annual Pass Magnus are gonna be coming out soon. Ooh. On the day of February 3rd through April 7th. Of course. So when, they're gonna have a magnet for pass holders? Yeah. How come they don't do this for Halloween Horror Nights? I don't know. That's pretty sad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And also, they're going to be doing a food and beverage discount card, which is going to be amazing. For annual pass holders? Uh, no, for anybody, actually. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, the all guests visiting Universal Orlando during Mardi Gras can purchase a discount food and beverage card, but 
pass orders get an even bigger discount. Pass holders save $30 with a limited time offer on Universal Orlando Resort food and beverage card. The card retails for $120 but holds a $150, $150 value. Uh, for pass holders, okay. And then for regular people? Th those are for just pass holders. Regular guests just doesn't have get any, get any discount or anything at but all. But they can get the pass if they want to. It's yes. like a food and beverage pass. Kind of like, I don't know if you guys ever been to like, um, some of you have probably been to Disneyland before and you know on their festivals they give you like a lanyard where you like take out like you know each one like you're you already paid for it all you have to hand in is your little thingy so it's kind of oh, like that oh okay okay I know what you mean I know what you mean I know what you mean but it's like in a gift card matter because instead of them handing you something they scan your pass yeah mm -hmm. okay I get it I get it um yeah that's basically it parade and we told you guys where the parade is going to be coming in and coming out um the best spots to sit to sit at, you know, to take videos and for like photos and stuff like that. But um, food, I told you about the food. I told you about the concerts. The lineup for the concerts is gonna be amazing. We're gonna be seeing, seeing Zed, uh, DJ Khaled, and Luis. Luis Fonzi. Luis Fonzi. 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 Say it in Spanish. Fonzi. <laughs> we gotta go right now because it's gonna be raining really, really hard right now. But thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the video, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.